Hey guys, it's just another dad doing just another figure review. Today I'm going to be doing Marvel's Legends Fantastic Four Retro Card Back The Thing. This guy is my favorite person out of the Fantastic Four. He is hands down in my top five favorite heroes of size. And I'm just looking forward to reviewing this guy today. Okay, so we'll take a look at his packaging real quick. You got the thing there. You got the retro card going on. Then you have little instructions of telling you you can swap out certain parts. His bio. Brief as it is. And the wave mates. Okay. So... Okay, let's take a look at his head sculpt there. Yeah, nice. The detail throughout him is really nice. I really enjoy the weight of this figure. I'm going to be honest, him being the same price as the other three that I got from this wave, like, he's the bang for your buck, definitely. Definitely. So we'll go ahead right in and get into the articulation. You can look down a little, can't look up much, but head can swivel all the way around. Okay. And then we go into the arms. And his arm does the full 360. You can go up that high. Okay, and then we got an elbow bend that much of an elbow bend and of course it can turn and then get into the hands they are also on a little joint and they can turn okay, and then we have a little bit of a ab crunch for him you can turn right here as well as right here with the soft ratchet when we get to the legs you can put it like that far forward about that far back okay, and turns here we got a double jointed knee so he could kick his own butt and his foot goes back that far goes forward that much Okay, get him all set up. Back over here. To be or not to be. <laughs> so, of course, he does come with a couple extra bits and whatnot. And that would be the angry face sculpt. And you see on there I have the other fist and the other opened hand okay we'll go ahead and switch that head on to him now okay the head on there now he's grumpy and what does he say it's clobbering time. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Mr. Fantastic for some scale. Okay. As you can see, the thing is, of course, bigger than him, so very well done. I'm really looking forward to reviewing the other two because I can't wait to get my Fantastic Four up on the shelf in heroic poses. But this has been just another review for all of you. See you guys next time.